setting off from uh, Quarry Park today. Been a while since I've uh, done a ride from here. It's a beautiful autumn morning. Beautiful blue sky, sunshine, and wind for the change. I've got to put my uh, sound muffler on, see if that makes a difference. Coats on, gloves on, trousers on. That's what it's going to be now for the next six, seven months, I think. Particularly on the uh, local trails. So where am I going today? <laughs> um, I haven't got anything as planned. I'm just, uh, while it's such a nice day, I just thought I'd come out. And I've already noticed that uh, we've got some colours. Beautiful reds, little berries. I haven't seen that long ago that the hawthorn was uh, covered in uh, in blossom. The trees were covered in blossom, and now we've got the elegance of colour, magnificence. It's just beautiful. Morning. One thing about autumn, I know it's a reminder that summer's gone, but it's the it's the it's the timing of all the vegetation how it changes. We've still got leaves on trees, still green. I wouldn't say lush, but it's full. And yet we've got trees in transition, like this one. And then we've got trees and uh, hedgerows that have lost all the leaves, like this one just the berries coming up I think nature has a way of uh, stimulating us even though uh, it's the back end of uh, the year it just keeps us interested doesn't it so we're gonna go through the little wood here now of uh, Quarry Park and see the transition seems to be more trees with green and trees without at the moment I don't know whether that's due to the nature of woods but they're all in close proximity it's been a while since I've been through here just realise now that uh, <laughs> you don't really see the pass and you certainly can't see any obstacles in the pass just be careful when you're out Tree roots, etc. Plenty of walkers. This brave soul here still got his shorts on. Hard and done, it, lad, obviously. Ooh. Ooh. All right. All right. Thank you. Must just be me that's soft. I'll take a trip down a bar, I think. Wow, what are you? Go down that field lane. Funny how everything's still dry. We've had that much rain and it's still dry. Probably all wind. Oh, it's a clear, clear day. Sunshine. Puffy little flowery clouds, flowery, fluffy. Yeah. There's some colour on these trees, all the yellow and gold. And then to the left, all green. So I'm just coming through Barbidon. This will take us onto the Doncaster Road, then over the hill into Kirk Sandal.
I think another couple of weeks. These trees to my left. It was such a beautiful sight. And the turn. At the moment it's still green. Not well, the majority of them anyway. Just starting to change now. Oh, the beautiful yellow gold leaves near the church at Kirk Sandal. I'm going to see if I can get through here actually today. More of a walker's path than anything. If we can get through. Anyone's been down it. Boggy. Possibly. Turns out to be a an on start to that. Too many rambles, so I'm gonna have to go along the traditional path here onto the little housing estate in Kirk Sandal. Ah, yeah. ah, thank you very much, sir. Cheers, thank you. I don't know if the GoPro picks it up with the sun right up there. These trees, I think I'm a, a few days, if not a week, too late. Still beautiful colours, mind you. Spectacular. That's beautiful that one, this one here. The sun going through it. And a triumph spit by her, I think as well. Elridge, that's that 1973. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. That one with the gold and red. Riding through the little wood at Kirk Sandal brings it on to Brex Lane. That give a lot of leaves on the floor, but the trees seem to be very much green still. Very shady in here. Get the perspective of the light coming through. So we're going to come out here onto Rex Lane and through a little wood and take us to the back of Edenthorpe uh, where Tesco's is that we're after. Been down here many a time. That's a nice view. Blue sky, sunshine. Oh. I know it's not the Peak District <laughs> or the, the Lake District. It just looks so peaceful. So, plan of action. I'm going to cut through the uh, field, 
dog walkers field come out to Thorn Road and into uh, Plantation Wood at Edenthorpe I think oh look at the colours of this Boston Ivy oh, beautiful red stunning stunning deep red blood red now I'm not sure what this vegetation is it's got white flower on it I don't know whether it is uh, weeds or actually a, a uh, harvest for the farmer it's to see things in the fields this time of year particularly with colour quite good chestnuts on the ground I do like a bag of roasted chestnuts yeah so we're in uh, plantation wood at Edenthorpe um, again must be the collection of trees is uh, it's not letting nature take its course so quickly there's a few uh, trees on the turn but majority is still green plenty of chestnuts and uh, leaves on the floor mind you On the link road from uh, I suppose Sainz visit to uh, Edenthorpe Clay Lane towards the Arnthorpe roundabout. There's Edenthorpe on the right, and uh, I'm thinking this one probably weren't the best idea actually. Very windy on this section here. We we'll get to the subway, I think, and move into the village of Edenthorpe. And it's noisy as well. But it's flat underfoot because it's a, a pavement. Look at this here, most of the edge row is gone with leaves. The trees look a little bit they've gone. Look Even this tree looks uh, just lost its leaves up ages ago by all accounts. And up here as well. Quite a few trees. I think I missed them turning then. Oh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trees. Look, lost its leaves already on this side. We got a nice red berry. Right, here we are then guys, we're going to uh, take the underpass right down there, this is the roundabout at Sainsbury's I might work my way around there, we'll see, we get into Shorewood I'm just going to take it bit by bit, not really plan it as such As a kid, my hunting ground as a kid, this Edenthorpe. So these trees in the distance go all the way around. That's what we've been on. I'm going to cut through to Edenthorpe now. Old farmhouse on the the bridal way but the last remnants of the, uh, the yellow leaves Ooh, look at this red Boston Ivy look at these colours 
of this as well. Green, red, orange, yellow. Smart, you know. That looks nice. That does look nice. It's coming out of uh, Fieldside Estate at Edenthorpe. A little path that takes onto Thorn Road opposite to Hungry Hill School. Ooh, Russian vine in flower still. Ooh, we've got some colour here, look at this, beautiful yellow, gold. Nice. Look down Thorn Road, a good measure of all those trees in colour, yellow, we're on, we're on red are we, excellent. Over. Yeah, I'm going to old school. Alright, we'll go down here. Yeah, let's go down a bit further. This looks nice, very enclosed. This is one of my uh, routes that I usually take just to get out and about. It's nothing major. And when I say routes, it's I just know my way around it, it's where I grew up. So uh, I just head to a certain place and that place uh, can take many forms of uh, directions to get there basically. It's, uh, it's just nice to be out. I'm just going to double back towards the school. I just like to come through this wood. And the trees are still very young. does give me a bit of shelter as well so I'll follow this through it'll bring me out of the roundabout near the uh, tired man or Toby Garbury it is called in Sainsbury's and then I'll go past through Sainsbury's car park and then get into Shorewood I think I'll look at the for a change You can see how young these trees are. Just for the size of them. You can't have it all, can you? Blue skies, sunshine. In the words of meatloaf, two out of three ain't bad. Right. I'm expecting this to be quite muddy now. It's always muddy here. Yeah, if you fancy this route or some description, it's on Strava. Everything gets recorded on Strava. And uh, you can look and see what you, if you like it or not. I want to do it. Just a local uh, trail, I think it's Kirk Major. Yeah. There's a lot of this sweet corn about. Just 
dying. Got lots and lots of it around Doncaster, and I don't know why. Somebody said it's for the uh, this new power supply. Is it eco stuff? I don't know. No idea. Somebody uh, cared to let me know why they're growing so much uh, sweet corn and letting it uh, go to waste. Let me know. Just seems a bit uh, a bit costly for a farmer just to plant a load of stuff and just let it decay. So if anybody knows, let me know. That'd be cool. Little ease of curiosity that I have. Right, into shore wood now then. Into shore wood. Again. All the uh, trees have got the green leaves on still. I think to see any colour I'm going to have to come out of the woods, I think. Make my way out, see, uh, see what I can find. I think I might just head to Cantley. While I'm here. All the bracken's changed, it's brown. I do like bracken when it uh, starts to grow in the spring, the way it kills up. It does have some nice colours in autumn. Yeah, sure wood looking on as bluebell wood. Ah. It's actually made up of three separate woodland areas that have been planted at different times. The oldest part and as far as I'm thought, sure. Oh, it's okay. Believed to have been uh, added in the late, oh, sorry, 1208. And Street Thorpe Shore, which is otherwise Eden Thorpe in its old name, is believed to have added to the late 18th century as part of the old Street Thorpe estate. And planting with the Corporation Shore, 19th century, 1980, the price of 1985, the wooden has always been in private ownership and was purchased by Duncan's Council on the 25th of November 1985. Ah, Bluebell Wood. Interesting, didn't know any of that. I'm sure a lot of the uh, local woods and in Doncaster will be having these signs then I keep an eye out for it. Castle Park, home of Doncaster Rugby, Union that is. Doncaster Knights. Remember Baron Knights. <laughs> and to the right is uh, Wheatley Golf Course. But we're going to take a left where this sign is and then into Sandal Beat. And then I think we're going to head up to uh, Cantley Park. Never know, might see Donny Rovers win uh, training if we're unlucky. Alright, Sandal Beat, and yes, I can see a plaque. There we go, Sandal Beat is 79.96 hectare woodland, which is designated site of specific science interest. Ooh. Sandal Beat was first planted by Doncaster Council 1810. It was a mixture of oak, hazel, and beech. Okay, see, that was correct. I put this signage up. Uh, let's go. So I've decided to take the left hand trail of Sandal Beat. I never usually do this one. I'm usually using Sandal Beat as a means to get somewhere, so it's usually straight through the middle, which is uh, the way the crow flies, basically. But I thought I'd go around the outside for once in a while. It takes us to the back of. Uh, Doncaster Rugby Club. Yeah. 
thought there'd be more people around here today, but there isn't any. Trail. That's on the beat, breaks up and gives you a bit of open space, as you can see. And then to the left is the uh, Althorpe uh, pit top. That's, uh, I've been up a few times, but not today, I don't think. But you never know. No, I like this bit way because, like I say, it does open up. People. I think it, we're going to go over the bridge actually today, I think. I think. Morning. 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 Oh, we're going to go over this bridge. is the railway that splits Sandal Beat which we just come from Christ, to uh, Crow the Wood which we're going to go through head towards Kentley which I've been through many a time I think I've videoed it as well yep. <laughs> not many have actually braved it in the past Going down here, can't anymore because there's a uh, steel post. Oh, no Doncaster Rovers training today. It is a Thursday and nobody's there. <laughs> nobody's there. Oh well, alright, let's get through this muddy path and head towards uh, Cantley Park. Remember, it's been as close as this. That's starting to open up a bit more now. Hello. Thank you. Where they should be playing. But nothing. Well, oh. they would have been seeing the plane on Saturday. Yeah, so this is the uh, pavilion at Cantley Park. Basic FC and the 18 old pitch on foot. Let's see what colours we got then. Blowing, I think. Uh, oh, that's a beautiful tree. That one, look at it. Great, that great colors. I suppose down there would have been as well. It seems that the winds took all its uh, most of the leaves off them. The Beaches Brook pub. 
think it's one of the uh, one of the hurdles for the uh, St. Ledger or for the race course, I'm not sure. Oh, that's a nice looking uh, array of trees in colour. Oh, look, golden, this little green one, a limey colour. Oh, right down there's a beautiful red one. So you can and have a look at that, I think. come down here because I just saw this tree or two trees yellow still in full leaf basically That magnificent uh, specimen, red, gold, green, yellow, it's beautiful. So look at the red tips on that, the outside is all red. Lush. Just going past Macaulay School on the right. All these leaves just reminds me of as a kid kicking them on the way to school. Those were days when we used to walk to school. I suppose those were days when uh, we had black and white TVs. And everybody who had a red colour TV, they were few and far between. We used to stand in amazement just wow, our colour. Yeah, these leaves just remind me of the, uh, the morning and lunchtime commute to school. Kicking them. leaves are off these trees now basically on this side on this side they're still green sycamores oh look at these here beautiful colours on the roundabout there reds left as well, orange and reds. Well this will take us into old camp and help. Old Cantley coffee shop. I'm sure, that used to be a petrol station years ago. Come on, just stop and notice in the fields. I don't want go broke and pick it up. But it's very, very yellow. No idea what that is. Very, very noisy. Well, the bloody clouds have come now, it's got cooler. I think it's 
going to rain. <laughs> so much for the blue sky and sunshine, Donny lad. Autumn is here, never fear. Look at this tree on the left here, that's a nice golden colour. The backdrop now of uh, grey blue clouds, but also the trees. Look at this, I think it's lost its leaves a lot of it, but it's still uh, yellow. There's a few of them as well, aren't there? Blended. I need to go out on the side of the road, really. Oh. Oh, green and yellow. Fab. Hatfield Lane, it's coming out of Arnthorpe. And this road will take us to the roundabout where the uh, top of the plantation uh, wood was. A little bit late with these trees. Still looking uh, colourful. I thought I might have seen more red actually. It seems to be uh, yellow and gold. Not so much red. I hope we might be lucky between now and getting back to uh, Quarry Park. So I'm heading now to the roundabout. The link road to the left is what went down. And opposite is going to be. Uh, the plantation wood that I come through. I'm undecided whether to go back through the woods or down the road. Oh, some colours here. Some colours here. Look at that. Wow. Excellent. Oh, well worth it. Look at that. That's beautiful. That is good. A little squirrel there as well. That's good, that. I'll have to take a picture of that one, I think. I'm just looking how close on the left hand side these trees are, they look really finely trimmed. I don't recall any vehicle cutting them, I think it must be uh, lorries and vans hitting them, keeping them, uh, <laughs> keeping them like that. Oh, what a bloody awful road, I can see why I don't bloody come down here much, if at all. I can't remember if I've ever been down here on bike. I don't think I'll be coming down here again. Yeah, things are turning. Nothing spectacular. I'm not sure what it's like as a video. Well, I would say, uh, if I do post it. And... Uh, trees and everything else are in transition. Get yourself out and have a look, see what nature has to offer. See what Mother Nature's got to show you. Okay, 
heading into Quarry Park now. Three colours there, isn't there? That's nice. I think I might just go up that way then. Oh, I'm going to end the video there, guys. Um, it was a short one, just a little local ride just to get out, see some autumn colours. I hope to see you again on the next one.